I find your your concept of uh, I think it's you describe it as ethnosphere mm. f- fascinating. Uh, can you elaborate it about it really briefly? Because yeah. I have another question that follows that sure. is interconnected, well, but so well, people we all, can. We all talk about the biosphere, the biological web of life around the planet, but we forget that there's a cultural sphere as well, which is the whole range of the human imagination made manifest by culture. And uh, the, the, the haunting thing is that few biologists would ever suggest that 50% of all plants and animals are on the brink of extinction. But that the most apocalyptic scenario in the realm of biological diversity scarcely approaches what we know to be the most optimistic scenario in the realm of cultural diversity. And the indication of that is language loss. By complete uh, academic consensus, half of the 7,000 languages spoken the day that I was born are not being taught to children. So we're on the edge of losing in a generation, literally half of humanity's intellectual, social, ecological, spiritual knowledge. And this doesn't have to happen. And so as an anthropologist, I coined that term ethnosphere to try to create an organizing principle to draw attention attention to the plight of the human legacy, which to my mind has always been as important as a biological uh, legacy. 